Following the military coup and subsequent crackdown on the pro-democracy movement in Myanmar, over 400 Myanmar nationals, including women and children, have so far sneaked into the neighboring Mizoram, seeking refuge since late February, informed a State Home Department official on Monday. As per information received by the State Home Department, a total of 383 people from Myanmar have already entered five Mizoram districts, of which 297 have been verified and 86 others are yet to be confirmed or verified, an official said. About 98% of the Myanmar nationals claim that they belong to the police force and fire service. According to official, six Mizoram districts, Jampai, Lontlai, Saihai, Saitul, Hantal and Sirchip share a 510 Lont Poros international border with Myanmar's Jin state. Among the six border districts, only Saitul district has not reported any refugees from Myanmar since the coup. The officials said many of them were accommodated by the locals as a mark of hospitality to strangers, which is one of the most important traditions of the Mizos. Though the state government and Assam rifles were trying their best to prevent illegal influx, the Myanmar nationals, who entered the state due to the ongoing humanitarian crisis, could not be prevented due to the porous border. The state government is still waiting for central directions on the Myanmar national, the official added. Earlier, Chief Minister Zoram Tanga and Home Minister Lalcham Laina had said that the state government, while on the humanitarian ground, provide relief to the Myanmar nationals who have entered the state. Meanwhile, Mizoram Rajya Sabha member K. Venlal Vena called on Vice President and Rajya Sabha Chairman Vankai Naidu in New Delhi and seek centre's intervention for restoration of peace in Myanmar. The MP urged the centre to provide reliefs to the Myanmar nationals who crossed the international border to take refuge in Mizoram in order to escape gross atrocities on pro-democratic protesters after the military coup. In view of the current situation, the MP also urged the central government to stand up for the people of Myanmar and review its foreign policy towards the neighboring country. It may be noted that the Union Home Ministry had recently given directions to the chief secretaries of four northeastern states, Mizoram, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh and Manipur, sharing borders with Myanmar to not entertain Myanmar refugees. In a communication, the Home Ministry told the four states to guard against influx of civilians and government officials from Myanmar and take all precautions to deal with any such situation. Bureau Report